<clears throat> One playing card. One rubber band. subscribe yo what's up and welcome back today we're going to look at one of my favorite magicians in the entire world who i had the pleasure of sitting down with on our podcast if you want to check out our podcast bottom of the barrel it is 18 plus fair warning but uh we did sit down with david williamson and he's who we are going to take a look at today we're gonna to look at some of david's most iconic performances he is in my opinion the funniest magician out there but don't let his comedy fool you he is without a doubt a masterful slight of hand artists as well if you don't mind leave a like subscribe and let's get into it two steel cups just hang on to that brian <laughs> two little rubber bowls and a magic wand which i just happen to have right here we'll use this one a magic wand now both of the little rubber bowls are both exactly the same size as you can see sandra especially this one right here and you can squeak it if you like to prove that it's man-made rubber this oh i'm sorry it was this one i'm um, pardon me Oh, maybe it was this one, if you don't mind just squeaking that. <laughs> oh, Sandra, I'm so sorry. You fell for the oldest gag in the world. That's my gullibility tester, and you passed. That's a whoopee cushion for a mouse. That's what that is. I'm sorry. You can squeak that if you like, Brian. Yes! <laughs> it doesn't squeak. So silly. So stupid. But so funny. The mystery of the cups and bowls. I wave the wand over the bowl and it becomes so small that it vanishes. Once again, watch the bowl <laughs> as it vanishes at the fingertips thusly. Like that. <laughs> oh, and they reappear in the cups. You lift this one, I'll lift Before we go any further, I just want to acknowledge the sleight of hand and the misdirection there was so good. He is false transferring things between... He has nothing in his hand and he's just false transferring nothing but it looks like he's holding something it's just so masterful it really is sorry for interrupting let's continue that one just like siegfried and roy you be roy all right yeah. <laughs> can we just acknowledge the style here by the way like the background the clothes now, take the magic wand tap the cup make the ball vanish and jump into the other cup yes it's a miracle unbelievable but true wait a second here's the secret folks there's a small hole in the bottom of the cup it's true, and you can actually push your finger through there if you like. Oh, got you again. An old gag. Look at that. But anyway, under the pocket, under the knee, through the top of the cup, lands inside, snap the fingers, denders too. Anyone can do this, even you, Sandra. If you don't mind taking the magic wand, tap the, uh, sorry, tap the magic cup, and the ball will take the wand if you don't mind. Tap the cup, put the ball. Oh, I'm sorry. Take the wand and tap the cup. Hit it hard. Don't be afraid to smack it. Well, yeah, just hammer it like that. That's okay. I can buy another one. And show the people. Oh, great. Thank you. Now do it again if you don't mind. No, not the same one. Not the same one. The other one. Tap the other one. That's good. Unbelievable. Here. Okay, put it back in the bag. Put it back in the bag. No, no, no. He's no, still no, holding no. the bag. <laughs> What a great introduction to David Williamson. If you don't already know who he is, that pretty much encompasses what he's all about. His sleight of hand is literally second to none, especially when he starts going into this like super fast, speedy, it's over here, it's over there, it's over here. Like you're laughing, you can't actually follow anything, but you don't care that you can't follow anything. And that's a really interesting thing. Looked at performers like uh, Danny De Ortiz, where he uses comedy, but he also uses chaos, much like David uh, is using here, uh, in order to not misdirect you, but make you stop caring about what's happening. And 
forcing you to only care about the experience and living sort of in the present moment. I think that's a really hard place to get to as a magician, as a performer, where you can take the audience and literally create this little bubble around them and one that they can't escape from, one that they have to be in presently. Because most performances you see in magic, and I'm guilty of this as well, is you're performing and the spectator is somewhere else. They are trying to figure something out in their minds, they're, they're in their heads, they're thinking, oh, what if he did this? What if he did that? How am I supposed to act? To achieve this type of performance, you have to let the spectator live in that present moment. And by doing that, you have to give them the guidelines. You have to sort of force them into that moment. And you can do that through comedy, through chaos, through misdirection, through all these goofy things. It's just such a joy to see the people there just being like stunned and then you get it. Let's have a look at another one here. And that is a beautiful ring. Does it come off? Oh, good, let's have it. You don't mind, do you? Oh, you do mind? Well, let's have it anyway. That's beautiful. This is the famous ring trick. You see it there? That's your ring. Watch closely as the ring melts. Oh, wait, get a close-up of your face there. I don't want to catch that expression. She's quite nervous about that ring. I'll show you. It's not in the tie. That's just the lining. Look, no ring. Examine that. Do you see a ring? Any ring at all? No, look. Check it out. It's no, tear so into it. Silly. I know that you want to. No, pull on it. No, check. No, back up. Not like that. I just meant look at it. You think it's in his tie? <laughs> Come on. Take this thing. We do have a little bit of a st string there hanging out there. I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> that is the greatest thing I've ever seen. I'm sorry. That's very nice. Thanks. <laughs> but I think this is more of a fashion statement. But anyway, <laughs> believe it or not, in the trunk of my car, which is a 1973 so lime green Chevrolet with primer on the left fender, <laughs> parked out back by the dumpster behind the theater, inside the trunk of my car is a peach crate. And inside that peach crate is a ball of wool. And inside the ball of wool is a ring box. And inside the ring box, you'll never guess what you'll find well, we already discussed that. I have to tell you, I have a lot of um, devices attached to my car for safety reasons. This is the key to the um, ignition. This is the key to the trunk. This is the key to your heart. I can't believe it. Does that look familiar? Does that look like your ring? I love how he talks An about it. An exact duplicate of your ring. <laughs> Let's hear it for Sandra. He's got a great way of saying exactly what the spectator is thinking and voicing it out loud. You know, just saying like an exact duplicate of your ring because that is one of the thoughts that pops into your head when you see a trick like this. You're like, is it really my ring? Is it really her ring? Just so funny to miss the rectum to be like, oh, in my car, there's a peach crate. <laughs> And there's a ball of yarn, all that just to pull out his car keys and for the ring to be there. It's just so great. He truly is a magician's magician. I feel like everyone gets a kick out of David Williamson, but magicians doubly so. I feel like so many magicians out there are performing close-up magic and using a lot of David's lines, David's uh, mannerisms, and then he's just inspired just a whole generation of performers, for better or worse. You know, a lot of performers out there possibly doing his exact routine, which I don't suggest doing, but just so inspiring to see someone like that perform at that level. All right, let's look at another one here. Anybody have a light? A lighter? Get that lighter out of my pocket, Brian. Never mind, I'll get it. How dare you. Would you mind? Now, I'm not a smoker, and kids, I don't advocate smoking at all. I don't think you should smoke. A trick with a... Uh... You know, would you mind lighting the... Uh... Do you, move, with your, move my, I'll do it. That's happened once before, that's happened once Move my, I'll do it. <laughs> Is it lit? <laughs> there is a nice subtlety there. I don't know if you caught it. Uh, if you're a magician, you might've caught it, but he held out the string and he goes, would you mind lighting my, and he's holding a cigarette and the string and he's pushing the string out. Now, if they had lit the string, he would have been like, no, I meant the cigarette. It's a funny comedy beat there and it helps his routine. But if they light the cigarette, as you'll see now, <laughs> he'll use the cigarette to cut the string.
You gotta love how there's like this nice like children's music while he's just <laughs> gagging on a cigarette on stage. Not a trick you can get away with today. <laughs> he's trying to be so fancy about it. Beautiful version of a gypsy thread. <laughs> and again, a version that only David Williamson can perform. Lovely. This here is one of David Williamson's most famous videos, and you'll see why here in a second. Hey, Murray! Murray, Murray, Murray. Murray, Murray, Murray. Do you like card tricks? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Murray, I'll just do it once. Murray, Murray, Murray. Now watch very closely. We have three cards. No, there's four. I can see enough one under this one. One of the most famous clips out there. It's so funny. That little clip went absolutely viral before viral existed, but uh, it was just the funniest thing to see this little boy call out this magician and in the best way possible. And, you know, credit to David Williamson for just rolling with the punches. You can't win your audience, by the way, more than that kid already won them over. Uh, you, you just can't. You know, there's nothing David Williamson could have done. He could have pulled out another deck. He could have you know, done another trick. There's nothing he could have done in that moment. And credit to him for realizing that. All right, we're gonna watch one final clip of David Williamson. This is probably my favorite clip. A lot of classics being performed here. He's, he just, his crowd control is immense. Uh, when he's put into the middle of a crowd, like literally surrounded 360 degrees by people and he's just riffing and sort of crowd working. So amazing to watch. Now seeing a performer on stage, pull someone up and, and you know, do what they do is fine, but done in an in a close-up environment, completely surrounded, bad angles, and just having to deal with multiple people, cameras, and everything else at the same time is a, an incredible feat for a magician. So if you're not a magician, uh, here's something you can truly appreciate. Let's have a look here. And how are you? Can I borrow that? Thank you so much. I don't do comedy magic, folks. It's the classics. It's nothing less than the creation of life. <laughs> Now, just, no. <laughs> that bird no, looked no, real to me. <laughs> Sir, what's your name? John. That, there's a name. John? John. I'm, you're hypnotizing me with it. Sir, what's your name? Blake. Blake, would you shuffle John's tie? We don't even need <laughs> he has cards. a playing Look card tie. <laughs> Do me a favor, John. Would you yes, shuffle sir. the cards as much as you like? That is a sealed, hermetically sealed pack of cards, a brand new deck. I want you to shuffle those as much as you like. It doesn't matter how much you shuffle the cards, because we're going to use these over here with you. <laughs> Hi, how are you? What is your name? Renee. Lovely, Renee. Beautiful. Would you shuffle the cards as much as you like a red deck to match that? That's enough. Just try not to get them out of order, if you don't mind. Take out any card you like, Renee. Work with Mr. Magic. I'm not as good as the guys on TV. You know what I want you to do, Renee? Reach into the pack and pull out a card, but don't let me see what it is. Okay, show it to everybody else, but don't let me see the card. Renee selected a card. John, King you can look at it, but I won't look. I've seen it before anyway. It doesn't matter. Did you see one there, Renee? Do you remember the card? Renee, I want you to put the card back in the pack wherever you like, all right? You ready? Okay, wherever you want. Just hop that. 16, okay, Renee, when I snap my fingers, your card will jump from the center of the pack. It's going to make 17 revolutions in midair. 
and I'm going to catch it in my other hand. Watch close, okay? It's going to be fun. Here we go. You ready, Renee? Yes. <laughs> One card jumps out of the pack. There it is. What was your card, Renee? And it's changed into the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> is it over there? No, it's not even on your pack. Mr. Magic made a little mistake. I'm sorry. There. That's a little Queen of Hearts for you, a little souvenir. What was your card, really? Because we'll fix this later when we edit the show. <laughs> King of Clubs, we'll just hold that right there. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. And there it is, the King of Clubs. Works every time. Hold your Queen of Hearts right up here. No, keep it. What is it now? Look at it. That's because the Queen oh. is over here. Oh. Oh. Change places. Yeah. Way to roll with the punches there. She was not supposed to show the audience her torn card yet. Do you have those pieces? Yes. Renee, John, hold the pieces in your hand. Make a fist squeeze tight. Do you believe in the healing powers? Yes, I do. I believe in the proper response. Read it. Repeat after me. I will never. I will never. Say what other. Say what other. People tell me to say. People tell me to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll blow on your hand. So good. My laser breath, but I'll protect you with my lead line tie. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Have those pieces. Goose weather than tells back again. God, that's Open good. Your hand. Do you believe in the healing powers? Of course you do. There it is, the king of clubs, as good as new, except for the wrinkles. Look at that. Except for the wrinkles. Blake, blow on the card. Blow on the card, son. Blow. Blow on the card. Blow on the card. Right through your teeth. There it is. All the wrinkles are gone. Look at that. Oh. It's as good as new. All the wrinkles are gone. Fantastic job. In fact, give me a favor. Stand up over here. Stand up. Stand up. See right there? Blow right there on his forehead. The wrinkles are still there, Blake. You gotta <laughs> only watch the car. Sit down, Blake. Sit down. Nice try, So son. good. Folks, I just happen to have some big cards. I'm wondering if anybody in the audience brought any. Did you happen to have four big cards? Oh, good, 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 good. Because we're gonna do a trick with these four cards. Oh, okay, calm down. Now pay attention, everybody. I, I want just love to how he's have your cards. John, breaking the fourth Got wall, it? breaking the okay, barrier. Here's what we do. Four between cards. performer One, and spectator two, three, because he's four. sitting in okay. the middle of all these people four cards everybody has their four cards okay do you have your four cards does anybody need four cards okay you got them. you need four cards over there sir good okay four cards one i think one's yeah one two here we go here's the way this trick works and i want you all to follow along and do everything that mr magic does okay blake are you watching closely son take the top card now follow along take the top card turn it face up and put it on the bottom Next card face down on the bottom. Turn the whole thing over. Turn the top card face down. Pull the bottom card out, turn it face down, put it back on bottom. Great, great job. And we should have four face down cards. Just, no, Renee, no, you weren't paying attention. John, that's wrong. Blake, how did you get two face up? Folks, what, <laughs> did anybody get it right? A thousand people, pay attention this time! <laughs> We're gonna do it again. Okay, we're gonna do it again, friends. Let's start again. Four I love that he gets mad. It's my fault. I didn't explain it right. I didn't explain it right. Top card, face up on the bottom. Good. Next card, face down on the bottom. Turn the whole thing over. Turn this card face down. Pull the bottom card out. Turn it face down. Back on bottom. They should all be face down, just like that. No, you did it wrong, John. <laughs> wrong, Renee. Pay attention. Let's do it again. Explaining it right. One more time, quickly this time. Top card face up in the bottom. Next card face down on the bottom. Turn the whole thing over. Turn the top card face down. Bottom card face down on the bottom. They should all four of me face down. No! <laughs> One more time! <laughs> Tough crowd. Tough crowd. All right. I could watch David Williamson all day. I don't know about you, but he is such an inspiration, man. Like, after meeting him in person, it's safe to say that he is exactly the person that you saw on those clips. Uh, he's kind, generous with his time, with uh, especially with the youth and the younger magicians who want to learn. He is he is passing on that torch and all of his knowledge uh, into into future generations of magic. So uh, he's definitely someone I look up to, and I I'm just truly thankful that I got to spend some time with this person. Uh, if you guys enjoy what David Williamson does, uh, check out his show. He's a ringmaster in Circus 1903, which is I think produced by. Cirque du Soleil. It's, I left the uh, the link below, and there's also is it Slight School where he teaches magic. I'll leave the links to all of David's things below. You guys can check out. But if you don't mind uh, leaving a like on this video 
and subscribing if you aren't already, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.